Hey, what's up, Moto Buddies? This is Mike from Taco Moto Co. and Baja Taco Tours. And this is a one-of-a-kind machine. This is RTW Paul's Around the World bike right here. Built, done, ready, ready to put in a crate, ready to send over to England. This is like the culmination of a ton of work, ton of money, ton of effort, ton of time. Um, I don't know if this is a one-of-a-kind bike in the whole world, but certainly the, the most built out, most customized, most like decked out 500 that, that I'm familiar with. Um, if you know of one or have one that uh, kind of rivals this, we'd like to hear about that in the comments. Let us know what you're riding and where you're riding it, especially. You know, we've got guys out there. Pablo down in uh, Baja right now. Aaron Steinman, who just finished an around-the-world trip. And now pa uh, Paul here, RTW Paul, headed out in the uh, headed out around the world in this bike. So let's just do a, a little overview of what's going on. We'll start here in the back wheel. So this is the Warp 9 Elite Series with the Cush rear hub. And then the bulletproof designs. Uh, he's got the disc guard as well as the uh, caliper guard. And see some nice touches here, like the safety wire on the little uh, caliper pin clips. And then he's got the Zerk fitting there on that bolt for the rear shock for the Heim joint. Extra wide foot pegs, lots of uh, beefier levers. You'll notice all over the place there's just enhancements and beefier components. The Henson clutch cover, that's a stock clutch in there. The Henson cover is just really thick, super durable, uh, crash proof. So that's why that's on there. Boyson water pump upgrade and then the Samco T-Stat delete. Um, and then he's got the Trailtech fan. So this bike had a stock fan in there, but with the Trailtech we can adjust the, the on point a little lower. And so that's why that's on there. Um, revalved and then resprung to the weight, especially the, the fully loaded weight of this bike. That's kind of a big deal. The big Atrebees uh, tank on there and bulletproof radiator guards up front here. Um, obviously this is an EXC, so it's street legal. It's got a horn on it, P3 on the guard. And then this bash plate is also a tool carrier, and so that's loaded up with tools. And on the front wheel, Warp 9 Elite Series with the Supermoto disc with all this extra weight. You just need more stopping power, especially on the front. Fork shrink on the, on the, you know, on the fork guards there. Dress it up a little bit. Up here in the command center, look at all this stuff. So this is pretty, pretty exciting. He's upgraded it with the, um, uh, just everywhere you look, I mean, you see all these, these extra enhancements. So highway dirt bikes, it's the bar guards and then the mirrors, ASV levers, pro grip for 914 on the grips, Garmin Montana up here for navigation, as well as the trail tick Voyager. That's the pro for, um, also for navigation for uh, a second set of uh, maps. This rally rack here, this rally tower, this is made by Moto Minded. So this is their specific one. It was made for Paul. You can see his name on the side of there. And so that's got all of the electronics on the front of the bike, as well as carrying the light. So the lighting package, he's got the Baja Designs XL80 and then the S2 Pro light up there. This is going to come out on high, and then this will be the constant light. Also for low beam, this the plastic here, the shield, is the KTM 450 Rally uh, Tower screen. And then Moto, everything else is Moto Minded. So this is a KTM part, part number, but then everything else, uh, these little side panels, all of these brackets, all this fitting, this stuff is specifically made um, by Moto Minded with all of the, you know, the mounts, the hardware, all of this stuff. So there's two, two buttons up here, and then there's two over on the other side. You can wire those up to auxiliary functions, which we've done on here. These little guys are our Taco Moto Co. turn signals. Uh, we've got those in the back too. And in the back, we have them wired for running lights and super bright, really intense. Here, he's got his USB charge port and then there's a little voltmeter there. We have a duplicate one here, same thing. We just have two of them uh, for redundancy. The um, bars, he's got the uh, uh, fat bars. I think those are the Pro Taper. Their pro taper bars, stout mount. So, what's happening with this is on top of this Highway Dirt Bikes uh, top plate, this sits here and it has a, this bracket here, and that's where the amps AMPS, you see the four bolts right here. This is where any type of amps device will mount. And so, he just happened to have the Garmin Montana there. Everything is custom wired. We had to do a lot of kind of re repositioning and just remaking wires. Uh, extenders for all this stuff. Uh, over on the switch, we're going to swap this out and we're going to put the Euro switch, the CEV switch, because we want to have an off position. Right now we've got high-low. 
we want off because there might be times where he needs to be in stealth mode or he needs to conserve power put all the power into the battery and not run any of the lighting just for you know charging and so we're going to swap this um, the US assembly out for the Euro assembly which gives you the off switch it also has a kill button on that side as well turn signal so same same functionality but it gives you the third feature which is the off for that um, revalve resprung up front the GPR4 and then um, you know if you look at everywhere you'll see Moscow Moto all these all these bags this is the, the reckless system there's no rack needed now we do have a rack this is the Globetrotter rack but you can mount that system to a bike without it. This just adds extra, uh, there's so much weight here and there's so much going on that the rack gives you the fail safe of keeping all of these little side, bottom and side panels here oh, out of the rear wheel, out of the chain. And so, you know, if, if it's an ultimate bike that you've built, you probably want the rack. Otherwise you might be able to get away with, with the rackless without the rack. Over on this side, you'll notice that's the Kush hub. And then the Warp 9 axle spacers, you've got the wheel puller. Um, that's a DID 520 chain, X-ring chain. That's the little bulletproof designs. Swing arm guard, TM design on the, on the chain guide there. Fastway, that's the ProMoto billet. Kickstand, super durable. Uh, Moscow makes these little kicker, you know, brackets down here for the bag system. And then Enduro Engineering, that's a little case saver guard there for the slave cylinder. Uh, Kane over at Trail Jammer makes that side cover there. That's a zip tie racing fuel filter. Uh, that's a nice upgrade. And then here, this is kind of clever. You'll see that's a self oiling system. And so that little hose comes all the way up, it travels up. And then right here is where you put chain oil and then you just dial this in and puts pressure on a diaphragm and that will drip and squirt oil down to oil the chain. Um, Paul did a custom graphics package. He designed that and then had the guys at Rocky Mountain Attack Graphics, they printed that up and they had this template here for that big tank. So that was kind of unique. That took a little bit of effort for him to get that sorted out. Um, this bike's gonna be gone for about four years. Paul's gonna start his journey in England and then work his way across Europe and Russia and then all the way across and back around. So. Uh, Moto Z tires, forgot to mention those, Motaz, they're sponsoring him and he's going to be able to get tires everywhere he goes in the world and um, get new rubber as he goes. He'll go through 20 sets of tires by the time he gets back. So this is pretty much the top of the line, man. This is like epic level stuff. This is a 500 fully decked out for the ultimate adventure. Um, you know, a couple of other things as I think about this, we swapped out the stock fuel pump and we put a California Cycle Works pump in there and that's a seat concepts seat. We've got custom wiring underneath the seat there, uh, anti-gravity, eight cell battery. I'm sure there's more things I'm forgetting. We'll throw that into the comments here. But if you have any questions for Paul, if you want to follow his adventures, there'll be links as far as all of his social stuff. He's on Instagram, Facebook, all the regular stuff. You can watch him as he goes around the world and then we'll do regular posts too as we get them and then we'll keep you guys updated on the EXC FE Facebook group as well um, since it's 500 and EXC specific and that's that's what he's riding out there so um, I hope this stokes some of the fires of adventure that you guys might have this would be a great bike if you wanted to build something maybe a little less intense you know for BDRs or any of the long distance travels that a lot of guys like to do on the 500 this this bike is really you know the ultimate as far as building out a bike goes but you could get away with considerably less kit and still have great time and great adventure out there but um thank you for watching hit us up if you have any questions or comments go out there seriously and get some adventure